Hi, I'm Rich Kirkpatrick, author of Mind Blown, Unlock Your Creative Genius by Bridging Science and Magic. I want to talk today a little bit about the fact that we are all wired for creativity. The neuroscientists, they say this is true. Uh, philosophers say this is true. And those of us who are creative artists know this to be true because we just can't help it. But you see, there's a block sometimes that we have when we look at creativity only through one of the two sides of the bridge. We either look at it just as a utility, just as something to solve a problem, or we look at it at this way, just it's just art, it's just something that we do to express ourselves. But the truth is a little bit more exciting than that. If we bridge between these two things, we're actually creating something that can solve a problem, but also can provide meaning. So those of you who are in the technical fields, those of you who are scientists, those of you who write code, it's not just about solving a problem. Because what you create on this side also has a wake to it beyond just the instance of its creation. Technology causes uh, us to change the way that we live. So as we're creating, it's not that we don't want those things to necessarily happen, but are we cognizant? Are we aware that our creativity has that kind of power? And so those of us who stick just in innovation may be blind to the fact that the experiments that we're doing are uh, the technology we're creating has some kind of meaning that we don't understand what it will be, but it has some kind of meaning. And are we as artists over here, those of us who paint or write music, are we also aware that it's not just about pro providing meaning or experience or expression for ourselves and others. It could possibly actually solve real world problems because artists are like prophets. We can say the emperor has no clothes. Uh, we might uh, be, in fact, in a shared experience of being taken to prison by a dictator because just like the scientists, we're dangerous. So these two dangerous groups of people, I think, if we learn to bridge between the science and the magic of it all, imagine what we could do for ourselves and for our world. So with that, keep creating and keep growing.